turning a curtain pole finial using skew chisel and spindle gouge. The blank with the recess pre-drilled is put into the lathe. Rough it down to the maximum diameter. This particular pattern is designed so I can mark it out using the width of the tool to gauge the sizes. A small bead to start with. Peeling cuts with the tool at this angle are quite tricky. You take a little bit of control to reduce timber quickly. The bead cut keeps the transitional point in the correct place. And a peeling cut removes a lot of timber quickly. I use a homemade gauge, which is basically just a slot cut in a piece of sheet material. You notice I'll do as much as I possibly can with the skew first, before then swapping the tool. Now using the half inch spindle gauge. Watch carefully, you can see the movements of the tool to keep the bevel in contact in contact with the material thus giving a very clean cut point the bevel in the direction of the cut so you can have fairly crisp edges you can always go back and trim anything up later this larger cove you'll see there's a large swing on the tool Keep the bevel in contact. And I'll go back to the skew chisel. Peeling cut to remove the waste at the top of the finial. First we shape out roughly the ball on the end. And we refine the shape. Always cut away the waste material more than you need so you're not forcing the bevel onto the end of the job. A couple of little touch up cuts and then quick sand. Doesn't really need much. This particular job is going to be painted so a 180 sandpaper will be more than adequate to give the correct surface to tie in with the paint. There's not a lot of sanding required. It's a fairly clean job straight off the tools. Once you're happy with what you've got, you then cut away the waste on the end, leaving the smallest nib possible. Just catch it as we cut it off. There you can see the final job. Thanks for watching.